That's the bad tide now coming up. Yeah. You're right, my dear. No, it's not. It's not pulling. It's just connecting. So welcome to Felix Day Live at uh, Shotley. We're actually looking at, at the port of Harwich. Sorry, excuse me, at the port of Felix Day. <laughs> Mistakes get made. And it's uh, just coming up for, let's see what the time is, four minutes to three on Tuesday, the 3rd of August, 2021. And you can see the Ever Given just coming around out of the shadow of that uh, freight ferry. And as you can see, she's got loads and loads of containers off in Rotterdam. She's quite high out of the water. And uh, as you can see, I think, I reckon she's got about five metres. Yeah, I think she's she's lost about five metres of draft in Rotterdam. And I think, as you can see, there's really very little left on board. We don't obviously know what there is under the hatches. Probably not a lot, except where there are stacks on deck. So not much there. Down here at uh, Shotley, we've got a really good crowd. And the reason lots of us have come over here, I think, really, is to catch her swinging. She should, we expect, swing into the mouth of the river Stour, of the guard boy. And as you can see, the bad tug is now hitched up. And uh, there's doubtless two. I don't know whether there's one or two. No, there's only one stern tug, I think. It's going to be interesting to see what she looks like when she's got some more of the boxes off, because we'll start to see then the, uh, the bow bulb and see exactly what's happened there, if anything is visible. Can you? Where are you looking? No, that's that's not damaged. That's 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 a. I'll move you back a bit. Move back a bit. Sorry, that's all right. We're live on Facebook. I know what it is. Don't worry. What you're looking at there, the what's in front of you is the accommodation ladder, which is how you go up the side of the ship to get on board. So that's what it is. It's not not actually damaged. It's all right. The damage that she's got, whatever damage she has got, is going to be around the back around the bulb, which we can't see at the moment because it's underwater. But what we'll try and do is get in a bit closer and see if it's sticking out. As you can see, we've got a little bit of, I've got a little bit of confusion because of course there are two evergreens, one passing the other. So we've now got the mighty Ever Given, as you can see her title there, her name there, is passing the other evergreen ship that's currently alongside. So as you can see, you can't actually see anything much of her bulb at the bow, I'm afraid. So we can't tell whether there's anything visible. doesn't matter at all from my point of view because we will doubtless see what happens later in the week when she's actually fully unloaded. And I assume she's going to be stripped right out here at Philipstow, but we'll find out soon. It's ever gentle. It is ever gentle. My brain went limp. Thank you for that, Emma, and thank you to the gentleman next to me. <laughs> and there's Gondola. Not that full, but it's uh, but it's got a lot of people to greet you. You're right. Lots of people here to have a look at this ship coming in. There we go. Let's get it back. And there you go. There's two of Evergreen's largest ships passing each other, or one passing the other. That's ever given passing the ever gentle, as ever gentle lays alongside berth nine at Phoenix Day.
Well, never mind, Peter John, you can catch it here. And hi, hello, hey, New Jersey, USA, my goodness, we get a worldwide audience. Okay, we'll see if we can get a bit of a look up at her bridge. the ship's bridge where she's controlled from. <laughs> I should think one of uh, Barry St. Edmund's best exports perhaps, one of the United States best import in New Jersey. I hope you have a nice last over there. just about to start a swing so she's just about to start to show around turn around and uh, don't know which way she's going to go I guess bow first in this direction unless she's going straight across not entirely sure you're watching from your lorry in Southampton what a life you live I don't know Jaden this uh, Pretty, pretty nice, isn't it? I guess nothing much is happening in Southampton or what? Yep.
think, huh? Well, I'm glad to have you here online, David. Um, hopefully we can keep this up for a while. What I'm planning to do when she's swung and started to go stern is that I'll leave the switches camera off and then we'll start a new live from down at the other end of Shotley Marina where we can get close up to the ship when she's coming into the berth. See how that goes. But we'll let her swing and start moving astern and then we'll see where we go. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's correct. Yeah. About the same again. Yeah, you're looking at, overall, you're looking at what, what's called 20,000 TEU. A TEU is one container 20 feet long. So most of the containers on there are 40 feet long. So she's actually got nearer 10,000 boxes when she's full up. But she's obviously not full up now. She's just pretty, pretty empty, I think, really. My bet is that she's probably got, she's probably got about, um, I don't know, 2,000 to come off here. Is your estimate? Yeah. yeah. A lot, a lot of boxes on there. <laughs> well, a lot of trains as well. Um, we do show, if you go, on the Fit So Live Facebook page, we show a lot of uh, container trains as well. But this is uh, an interesting one just on its own, isn't it, really? Just to confuse the issue. Watching from Sunbury in Ohio. How nice. Nice to see you there, Sheree. And this is going to be back. That's Martin Moore. Glad you like it, Martin. Happy to do it. Keeps me out of mischief. You know how it is. And good afternoon, Mike. Yes, she does. She's only drawing about, uh, I think, 10 and a half metres, something like that at the moment, compared to 15 metres odd that she would normally be drawing uh, on a visit to Felix Dow.
<laughs> That's the problem, Michelle. It's a bit of a bit of an excursion, isn't it? But never mind. I'm just going to alter my camera position a little bit. What you doing? Oh, well, okay. I'm highly entertained. I thought she was actually coming around the other way. But uh, in fact, she isn't. She's coming around. She's coming around by stern, coming in this direction. Get rid of that just for a moment. Sorry about this. We're having a little bit of there we go. Finger trouble is what we call it. Can we name dongs? Don't turn around. All right, <laughs> okay. And we've got good stream. I'm glad you like it there, Joel. And uh, Raymond Turner, boy, yes, feel it's so popular and on the news. I'm glad of that. And you're watching from Portugal. My goodness. I wish I was there. It's nicer than here. Probably warmer than here. And what else have we got? <laughs> yes, Kim, it has got your garden furniture on and it will be with you by October. No problem at all. <laughs> uh, it's lovely to have you all out there. We've got the biggest stream numbers we've ever had, I think. So keep watching, and we'll we'll get right into the um, into the birth. Don't forget, what we're going to do is stop this stream um, probably in the next fifteen or twenty minutes when she's fully swung round. When she starts to go stern, I'll go down to a different position and uh, bring you video from there as we watch her actually go stern into the birth. We'll have another live stream for you to watch. I don't know what we got there. <laughs> no, I don't get that. What we got? <laughs> yep, so Kim's garden furniture is going to be her Christmas present, thanks to the mighty ever given. Hopefully she won't get stuck again, but you never know. Tony, she's coming into Trinity 7, so she's going to make a big long stern board up to Trinity 7. <laughs> You're very right, Peter. It's another big green box full of boxes. All you can say, really, isn't it? Yeah. 
and she's nearly fully stern on to us. There we go. She might have got damaged just then. It was only a bear that ran up. Yeah. It's, it's damaged. It's probably damaged to the um, to the anti fouling and stuff. But yeah, surface kind of packed down. I don't think she's got any crinkles in the hull. <laughs> You've seen them all. My goodness. What have we got there? <laughs> Danny, I think you're joking. Uh, there you go. I hope you are. Goodness me. I can see some I can see some tug marks on the quarter. Is that what you're looking at? Right at the stern. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, there's a patch of different colour on there, right? Yeah. Don't know, but thank you. Thanks. And now she's now she's more or less lined up. Right? Yeah. So let's just go there. See what we got now. The maximum was about 21,000 TU, which is 20 foot equivalents. So call it 10,040 10, foot long boxes. But 20,000, 21,000 TU is the kind of standard measurement. TU is the standard measurement for all container ships. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get out of that one. Just a little late. You're very right. Just a lot late, really, isn't it? And hopefully she went. Well, I hope you're right, Bonnie. We don't want her to crash at all, mate.
this looks like shipping agent talk. Your box is one behind the wheel. We'll have third one down. Your VBS is between today and next Friday. Yeah, that's possibly true. As far as we're aware, she's in for about 24 hours, not much more. Okay, well now she's going astern nicely, so uh, I'm going to switch my broadcast off for the moment and we'll come back to you in the next 15 or 20 minutes as she gets closer to the berth and I'm going to move down to a better position closer to the berth so you'll get a better view of her actually coming alongside. Uh, all right, thank you for that, Emma. Yeah, so the estimated time of departure currently is on the 5th. Oh, really? At 18.30, which will be interesting then. So she'll go out probably with a prop out of the water, I should think. Okay, I'm Chris. This is Felix Stay Live. And we'll be back again with you very soon indeed.